one of the most stylish mustaches out there. To counter this little pilot, pick someone like LeBlanc, since with a single distortion, she'll be able to dodge all of his combo and engage right after. Ari after 6 will also be able to juke the hell out of this full skill shot kit, and Yasuo because of his wind wall denial potential in lane. A Nivea who can outpush him for days, a Kali with her great mobility, and Fizz with his E make other good counters as well. Quirky's passive makes his autos deal 20% physical damage and 80% magic damage. Also, after every 8 minutes of game, he'll get a package delivery waiting for him at base, which he can pick up to drop a sort of rumble ultimate on the ground and also dash with it. His Q makes him throw a little bomb on a target location that deals magic damage and reveals enemies for 6 seconds. His W makes Corky dash to a target location leaving a burning trail on the ground that deals damage to enemies. His E creates a firing zone in front of him for 4 seconds that deals mixed damage and also reduces armor and magic resistance per tick. Finally his ultimate stores missile charges that he can use to throw in a straight line in front of him. Every third missile is a big one that doubles its damage and blast radius. In lane he will look to push you to your tower and also poke you at the same time with most of his abilities. He maxes his Q, so once you notice he's used it to farm, go ahead and try to trade with him. His autos also hurt for a ton though, so be careful. As for spells, most Gorkies take teleport, but you could also find him taking heal for the lane matchup. You should always take teleport versus teleport, but taking ignite versus his heal is also pretty viable. As for power spikes, he gets very strong in the mid game once he's acquired his first item, which is obviously Trinity Force. Its stats synchronize perfectly with Gorky's kit, being both a physical and magical damage dealer. Level 4 with just a single other point into his Q makes it deal a lot more damage, you won't be accounting for, and level 6, when he can finally poke you with his missiles from afar, makes him much more of a threat. His last really strong power spike comes from his passive package, which grants him extra movement speed and will burn enemies that won't be aware of so much damage. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, avoid fighting him for long periods of time because his E will shred your resistances, he suffers a lot of mana issues early on, so don't let him go back to get a sheen or anything if you can, and his W has quite the long cooldown in the early game, and is his only escape so really punish him if he uses it mindlessly, ultimately have fun doing it.